There are nine hallmarks of aging, and telomere attrition, also known as telomere shortening, is one of them. Now, before we jump into that data, let's just do a quick review of telomere biology. So within the cell's nucleus, we find the chromosomes, and at the end of the chromosomes are telomeres. Now, when cells divide and replicate, telomeres shorten such that when cells reach senescence, telomeres reach a critically short level. So one reason why that's important is because telomeres protect chromosomes from fusing together end-to-end -end fusion, and also uh, uh, they protect against chromosomal instability. Now, telomere length shortens during aging, and shorter telomeres are associated with an increased all-cause all mortality risk. I'm going to show that data in a minute. But also, how does telomere shortening compare against other metrics of biological age? So first, telomere length declines during aging, and that's what we're looking at here for data for uh, females on the left and males on the right. And on the y-axis, we see LTL, or uh, leukocyte, also known as white blood cell. So this is telomere, telomere length, TL, in white blood cells, and as a function of age. So how does it change during aging? So uh, what we can clearly see in, in both women and men is that telomere length declines during aging. And this, I should mention that this data is from a uh, cohort that included uh, European countries, uh, data from the U.S., but also from uh, Israel. So uh, with this in mind, are shorter telomeres also asso associated with an increased risk of death for all causes? So a meta-analysis uh, that was published in 2018 was uh, uh, performed for that, uh, that included data for 23 studies that looked at the association for shorter relatively shorter telomeres versus longer telomeres with all-cause mortality risk, risk of, risk of death for all causes. And what, what they found was that the shorter the telomeres, there was a significantly uh, uh, increased risk of death, 26% increased risk of death for all causes with shorter telomeres relative, relative to the groups that had, uh, for the people that had higher, uh, uh, longer telomeres. Now, again, this, is, uh, this included data for uh, more than 120,000 subjects and 23 studies, but notice that in 13 of these studies, there wasn't a significant effect for telomere length with all-cause mortality risk. So this made me think, well, how does telomere length compare against other biological age metrics? So first, uh, and remember I showed that telomere length declines during aging. This is a, a fact. I mean, there are many studies that have shown this. And, and, and uh, here's also additional data. Uh, that's what I've put, uh, put up here. So we're looking again at telomere length on the y-axis plotted against chronological age. And we can see that in this in data in this study, which is different from the data that I presented uh, a couple slides ago, we can once again see the tel telomere length declines during aging. Note the correlation coefficient, the lowercase r, uh, is negative 0.42, which is a, uh, about approximate, uh, a moderate correlation. It's not strong. Strong would be anything greater than negative 0.5 or greater than 0.5. Now, in contrast, other metrics of biological age have stronger correlations with chronological age. In this situation, we're looking at the uh, Clamera Duval. I may be saying it wrong. Apologies if I am saying it incorrectly. Uh, so the KDM Clamera Duval biological age. And this includes 12 biomarkers, 11 of them being blood biomarkers and systolic blood pressure. And if you're familiar with my videos, you may have seen me uh, present data from the calorie study where people underwent uh, calorie restriction for a two-year period. And they, uh, they exhibited a younger biological age. And the way they measured biological age in that uh, randomized controlled trial was with the Clamera Duval biological age method. Now, again, before showing the data, also note that eight of the 11 biomarkers, including albumin, alkaline phosphatase, uh, creatinine, C reactive protein, but not high sensitivity C reactive protein, uh, the percentage of lymphocytes, white blood cell count, the MCV and RDW are also found on Levine's phenotypic age calculator. So, um, so anyway, uh, what we see when looking at the, the correlation between these, uh, this biomarker grouping with chronological age is a strong correlation with a correlation coefficient of 0.91 for their combined uh, correlation with chronolo chronological age. Now, a co co uh, correlation coefficient of negative one or positive one as close to those extremes as possible ind is indicative of stronger correlation. So we can clearly see that the correlation for chronological age for KDM biological age is, seems to be better than uh, the correlation for telomere length with chronological age. So what about all-cause mortality risk? So in this study, I posted that data, and telomere length was com uh, compared uh, against, um, well, not against, but uh, the association between telomere length and eight other biological age met metrics with all-cause mortality risk was compared in this study here. So first, we can see that telomere length was not significantly associated with all-cause mortality risk. So how did the other uh, uh, biological age metrics compare in the study? So they looked at four different epigenetic age uh, clocks. 
DNA M, which stands for DNA methylation age. So well, they used Horvath's initial uh, uh, epigenetic clock. They used the Hanum epigenetic clock, uh, DNA M phenoage, which is Morgan Levine's uh, 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 epigenetic clock, or one of them, and then uh, DNA Grimage, which I um, uh, talked about in my previous video. So uh, actually, Grimage is also a Horvath clock. So three of these clocks were actually significantly associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. And in their cases, an older epigenetic age was associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk, which again, telomere length was not associated with all-cause mortality risk in this study. Now, but they also found other uh, um, biological age metrics, including cognitive function. So better cognitive function was associated with a lowered hazard ratio, a, a lowered, lower risk of death for all causes. And then the FAI, which is the functional aging index, which included um, vision, hearing, pulmonary function, grip strength, and gait speed. And then the frailty index, which included 42 different frailty, frailty measures. So the FAI and the FI were also significantly associated with an all-cause mortality risk. So uh, six of the nine measures were uh, significantly associated with all-cause mortality risk, whereas telomere length was not. Now also note that uh, a measure of uh, physiological age, what they call physiological age, which included some blood biomarkers, including hemoglobin, glucose, cholesterol, ApoB, and triglycerides, and some clinical markers, in including BMI, uh, uh, body size metrics like waist to hip ratio, weight, waist circumference, hip circumference, but then also systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Note that in addition to telomere le uh, length not being associated with all-cause mortality risk, neither was this physiological age metric. Now, at least in this study, metrics, one could uh, conclude that metrics other than telomere length were better for their associations with all-cause mortality risk, which is similar data to the aging data that I showed for the KDM biological age versus uh, telomere length for their correlations. So uh, as a third bit of evidence for the argument that maybe telomere length is not uh, a great measure of biological age when compared with other biological age metrics, um, in this study, they compared measures of uh, health, health span related uh, metrics, including uh, physical function, balance, grip strength, motor coordination, and physical limitations, uh, some measures of cognitive function, including cognitive function at 38 years, but then also cognitive decline, and then some measures of subjective aging, including self-rated health and facial aging. And they looked at correlations between those measures with telomere shortness, uh, with three different epigenetic clocks, including a 353 CPG uh, epigenetic clock, uh, 99 uh, CPG epigenetic clock, and then a 71 CPG epigenetic clock. So that just means how many uh, sites they looked at methylation at. Uh, and then also they uh, looked at the KDM biological age, the same KDM or a similar KDM uh, measure uh, as to what, they, what I showed on a couple slides ago. In this, for this KDM, they looked at 10 biomarkers, not 12, but it's, they used a similar approach, hence it's under the KDM uh, umbrella. So what did they find? So we're looking at the uh, little r, which is a correlation coefficient, and the p-value, statistical significance. And for telomere shortness, the only measure that was significantly correlated, health span related metric that was associated with telomere shortness, was facial aging. So how did the other measures compare? So interestingly, two of the epigenetic clocks, the 353 and the 99 CPG epigenetic clocks, none of the health span related measures uh, were associated with these two epigenetic clocks. So again, that shows that not all epigenetic clocks are the same for their uh, correlations with uh, health and aging related measures. But the 71 CPG clock, uh, with the exception of grip strength, was significantly correlated with all of the measures of physical function and cognitive function and subjective aging measures. So what about KDM biological age? Interestingly, it was significantly correlated with all of the physical function, cognitive function, and subjective aging me measures. So when considering this data, one could say that some of the epigenetic clocks and KDM biological age may be better metrics for assessing health span related metrics when compared with telomere length. And that's what I've stated here. So that's all I've got for now. Uh, if you made it to the end, thanks a lot. And I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and have a great day.